We got this package in today. Let's open it up and see what's in here. This was, wants it to be an 8-volt positive ground for his 55 Thunderbird. So he sent us his voltage regulator, original cover. I appreciate that, trying to keep it all original. And it looks like he wants us, to, uh, Joe here, from Massachusetts, wants us to make this into an 8-volt regulator. Take a look inside here. As you know, this is a six volt regulator. It's positive ground. It's got a nice original cap. This has got some problems, but one of the biggest problems, he's trying to run this on eight volt. And you can't set these up enough to, to run on eight volt. But the custom voltage regulators we build, we can make him an eight volt regulator. So it looks like a pretty good regulator, but this is not going to work for 8 volt, so we need to modify it with what we do. We're going to make it electronic and make it an 8 volt. Let's get started. Okay, we got this one done. This is one of the circuit boards that we designed for these. This is going to be an 8 volt positive ground. The set points should be around 9 volts. And let's give it a test and see how it does. So this is our test stand that we use to check these voltage regulators. Got a uh, B circuit generator here, which is Ford. And we've got our connections here. So as you can see, we've got our wires hooked up here. We're positive ground. So here's our, our positive terminal grounding the generator. Our field is to field. And our armature is to armature. In this particular regulator, the cutout was in really good shape. So we're going to go ahead and use that in this regulator for the customer. We've got our 8-volt battery here. 8.3 volts, 3.6 volts. We've got our amp meter set up here and our wires to hook from the battery to our regulator. We're going to run this and our RPM, turn that on. This is a very nice tester. We can bring our speed up to what we need. So about 2100 is idle speed on the engine. So let's just see where this comes into play. Start charging right at 2100, so it should charge at idle. Now we get our speed up. Our amp meter settles down, getting a good charge. Our voltage is just about 8.8. .8. 9 volts roughly. And that's going to be a good set point for it. Now I've got this set up so we can put a load on it. Charge is fine. Building the battery back up. This speed is just over 3,000 so that's going to be, you know, not much above idle on the car. Working good. Our set point's coming into just a little over nine volts, and by the time it gets on the vehicle, it should be right around nine volts. Should be perfect. We've got this one done, all set to go. It's uh, ready to install for the customer. We're going to send it back. 